It's that time of year. It's time for Giant Monster Month. Today's entry, 1 Million BC, is the only movie on this list that takes place in, well, 1 Million BC. Framed as a story told by a scientist studying petroglyphs, 1 Million BC tells the story of lovers from two separate tribes of cave people. Tumac, the son of the chief of the rock tribe, is coming of age and goes hunting with the tribe's warriors. After killing and roasting some food, Tumac and his father, played by horror icon Lon Chaney Jr., clash over the food causing Tumac to be essentially banished from the warrior tribe. Tumac is chased around the prehistoric wilderness before being knocked unconscious and floating down an eerie swamp. The swamp set is one of my favorite things about the movie and helps make the movie seem like it really takes place a long time ago. Tumac comes ashore at the Shell tribe's village where he is discovered by the beautiful Loana. Loana rehabilitates Tumac, teaching him how to share and how to get along. In return, Tumac helps with his strengths, killing a dinosaur and speeding up the harvest. Not everything is peaceful though. Loana's former lover and Tumac's rival has his spear stolen by Tumac, causing the two to brawl. Consequently, Tumac is banished from the Shell Village, with a love-struck Loana following close behind. The pair encounter many prehistoric beasts, including everyone's favorite dinosaur, the Horned Armadillo. The monsters were clearly lacking in this one. After surviving that encounter, Tumok and Loana witness the highlight monster brawl of the movie, an alligator with a fin glued to its back and a lizard duke it out as our heroes watch. Afterwards, the pair stumble upon Tumok's old tribe, and after a brief brawl, Tumok usurps power and takes control. Loana re-educates the tribe, teaching them manners and how to forage. As the film begins to close, an odd series of events occur. A volcano erupts, killing many of the dinosaurs and causing Loana to flee Rock Village. We even see a cave woman get caught by the lava. In 1940, I bet that was pretty metal. Apparently, Loana chose a bad time to go home because her village is all of a sudden attacked by a dinosaur lizard thing. Tumok returns with his warriors and fights the monster to no avail. Tumok's father suggests climbing to the top of the cliff and pushing rocks down on the monster, redeeming himself to his son. The plan works, and Tumok and Loana walk off into the sunset. I have very mixed feelings about this movie. On the one hand, it's pretty funny. The events of the plot are literally set into action because a son won't give some of his food up to his father. Also, all of the dialogue is in an ancient language, meaning we don't hear much more than grunts and the same few fictitious words repeated over and over again. This for some reason makes the movie funny to me, but for others it may just be unwatchable. I also think the way the dinosaurs were handled is so dumb that it's hilarious. In the opening scene, we see one of the only real dinosaurs in the movie, a triceratops, in the distance. Well, at least I thought it was in the distance because Tumak jumps onto it and wrestles with a stuffed animal the size of a large dog. Was it a baby Triceratops? Who knows? As I already mentioned, the rest of the dinosaurs are just slightly augmented modern day creatures. The horned armadillo and the spiny alligator stick out to me as being particularly stupid. Where I have problems with this movie is its treatment of animals. The alligator slash lizard fight is real, and during the climax a bunch of dirt and rocks are thrown onto a monitor lizard. During the volcano scene, several animals are thrown into a hole to simulate a fissure in the ground. These scenes, despite being the reason I watched the movie, make me very uncomfortable. This is definitely one of those instances where I would have preferred guys in rubber suits. If you're watching this series solely for the monsters, I'd probably recommend you skip this one. Nothing about the monsters is anything spectacular. However, the film is a campy romp through the past, and was famed director D.W. Griffith's last film. If you can overlook the questionable decision to use real animals, this film can be a portal into an, albeit inaccurate, prehistoric world. <laughs>